Swerve Strickland to the top. Is it time? Is it time to Swerve's house? Swerve! Stop! Whose house? Swerve's house. Who's your new champ? Swerve's your new champ. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> what up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Boy, oh boy, am I... Wow. So, I just got to watch the Dynasty maybe about a half hour ago. Um, and I'm still, I'm not someone, I, you know, I'm in shock, but I'm like, I'm, I'm just happy. You know what I mean? Like, because I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know what direction it was going to go. I told y'all my, my videos before they could put it on. They could put this title on Swerve at double or nothing. They could wait another month because I was like, maybe they'll have Hangman hey come out tonight. Uh, the, the match results in DQ or something Or is this a distraction where, Z where Joe retains And then maybe Swerve gets one more shot at it At double or nothing But They let Swerve get it tonight man They let Swerve get it tonight man Let's get into how the match went towards the end And we'll, we'll continue our thoughts on it Um I usually don't even lead off with like You know going over the What, what the result was But it was just such a big Big result, man. Um, so let's go into where we got back inside the ring, bro. Uh, towards late part of here, late part of this match, man. Joe swept Swerve's legs uh out from under him. Joe kicked Swerve and dropped the elbow on him before covering him for a two count. Swerve eventually battled back. Swerve uh dropped Joe with a flatliner for a near fall. Swerve had Joe seated on the top rope when he he grabbed his arm and then drove it to the mat. Swerve applied a uh, short arm uh, scissors. Joe rolled up uh, uh, on top of Swerve and then powered him up and then slammed him into the corner to break the hole. Joe put Swerve down with a muscle buster for a near fall. Joe acted shocked uh, that he didn't get the pin, but the live crowd didn't seem to buy that spot at the uh, potential finish. Uh, Joe went to ringside and grabbed his title belt, right? And then Nana distracted Joe for a moment. Joe went back up to the apron and was hit by Swerve. That, that was a good distraction there. Who followed him up with a move from the ropes and then went up top again and hit him with a Swerve stop for a near fall. Joe raked the eyes of Swerve and then picked up the title belt again. Nana barked at the referee, right? So Swerve kicked Joe and grabbed the belt, right? Joe ducked the belt, uh, ducked the belt shot. And then locked Swerve into a Kakina clutch. Swerve pulled Joe's hand free to break the hole. Um, Swerve pulled Joe's arm behind his back and then uh, used his foot to pull it back after Nana told him to break it. Swerve went to the corner and waited for Joe to get his knees and then blasted him with a house call. Swerve uh, covered Joe for a near fall. Swerve went up top and was cut off by Joe, who joined him on the ropes. And then Swerve jumped over Joe and then power bombed him from the ropes and then Swerve hit another Swerve stomp and what was great about this Swerve stomp guys is that when you looked at Swerve he knew this was the end and this was going to be his moment because you could see like a relief thing like he got a little bit emotional on his face it was great to see they showed it during the replay his face and if you look at it if you look at his face in the replay if you get guys get a chance to see the replay you can see how he was starting to get emotional a little bit. Like he knew this was the this was the the spot to win the title. And then he hooked the leg and got the three count. That was all she wrote for Samoa Joe in his uh how many months has this been? About four, I want to say four months for Samoa Joe as champ. When he beat uh MJF late late last year. I forgot what that pay-per-view was called uh in December. I forgot what it was called. Um It got him in 18 minutes, man, to win the AEW. And we got a new AEW World cha uh, Champion, and his name is Swerve Strickland. Confetti shout off as Swerve uh, joined in on the crowd. Uh, some pyro went off in the background. He was he he was with the people. And, and, and see what I loved about this was that Swerve seems like he was like the pe I think Swerve is the people's champ. 
Like, Swerve is like the people's champ because the crowd has been giving him this boost the whole entire time. And it seemed like this was the moment with him and the people. And he made history tonight as the first black AEW champion. We've been waiting for this moment for five years to see a black AEW champion. And nobody will... You know, you could say Hobbs might might be worthy of it, but I don't think Swerve, I don't think Hobbs I will put Hobbs over Swerve though. Swerve is like the one person that needed to do it because Swerve has had this momentum. I say a good last two years now. He's had this momentum. He started main eventing last year, started creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. Swerve 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 deserves this moment, man, and he deserves to be the first Black AEW World Champion, man. And uh, for all those people. You know, want to say, oh, AEW's racist. They're never going to give the champion to a black man. Or, you know, hey, they gave it to this black man, right? So you can't call AEW racist now. You can't call AEW racist now. Not after this. And I kept telling people, like, this dude going to win the damn title, bro. I don't know why the hell y'all keep thinking he's not going to win, bro. Just because it's color of his skin? Come on now. Come on now. I was like, come on now, yeah. Let me, let me throw the poll up on the screen because I want to see how the results went. Got a huge turnout here for this one. 547 votes, 27 likes. And, uh, oh, snap. Okay. Okay. And I don't know if that, because I didn't keep up with this poll since last night. So I don't know if it changed. I put this poll up, like, early Sunday morning. So I don't know. Hmm. I don't I don't I don't know who was on I don't know how the, the how the lead was for Joe. Joe's obviously on top, but y'all know my polls, if they're like 40%, that's basically half. And uh I don't know if Swerve had more than 30% at the time. But that's a good turnout for Swerve. A lot of people did think Swerve was gonna win it tonight. So salute to y'all. Um thank y'all for voting in the poll, by the way. Last words by Small Joe. Great champion. Uh, I think this title run for Joe has been one of the greatest title runs they've had in this company's history. And he didn't even have it that long. He, he had about four months. And his his title run was better than MJF's to me. MJF had it a whole year and some change. And I thought MJF's title run was a little disappointing to me. Uh, Small Joe in just four months had a way better title run. Uh, Joe Joe was booked very well. Like, Joe looked like someone who couldn't get beat. Um, I just got to hope for Swerve that he has a title run that's as good as Joe's. Because Joe, I can even go back to the WWE and say he's got he's had one of the better title reigns. Even if you match it up with the WWE's title reigns over there, Swerve still comes out as one of the best. I mean, uh, Small Joe. So, salute to Slo Small Joe. That was a great title reign for him. But it was time for Swerve to be champion. That that was the thing. And I, and I kept saying, they got to make Swerve champion, bro. They got to make him champion, bro. Because, like, the dude got so much momentum right now. And you always want to reward people who put in the work. You know? Now you get this monkey off your back. You got the you got the first black AEW world champion in there. You got that monkey off your back. You know what I mean? Now you can kind of just go forward now. You know what I mean? You can kind of go forward now. And I, I, like I said, I just hope Swerve has a great run. I don't know how long he's supposed to have it. I say at least, I say at least through four gear in November. At least let him have it for like six months before you change it. But I don't even know they're going to go that long. But hopefully he does. Because he's supposed to go to, and I don't know if y'all know this, but they're doing Wrestle Dream again, I believe in late September. Or early October, somewhere around there. And it's going to be in Tacoma instead of Seattle this time. They were in Seattle last year. They were in Swerve's hometown, Tacoma. I think he's going to have it at least through that through that time. He's going to be able to defend it in his hometown. He's going to be able to defend it there. Um, I can't wait to see who the, all the challengers are going to be, starting with double or nothing. I think they should allow Hangman for him to uh, battle Hangman for it. Uh, I love the Hangman and Swerve feud. Like, to me... The, the the best two the best three fuse at AEW might have been might have been uh let's see 
Jungle Boy with against Christian. I think that was a good. That was a great one in, in Luchasaurus. That was the first real good like few that I think they ever set up in AEW. Um, another one. I think Christian and the Edge was pretty good. I think Christian and the Edge was really good. This one with Joe and Swerve has been pretty good. Um, but Hangman and Swerve, man, that might be the best. That might be the best feud they ever did in AEW. That might be the, the best. The number one. If y'all disagree, let me know. But uh, I, I think that might be the number one feud that they ever did. Uh, and like I say, I can't picture a better champion Swerve getting this off of than Joe. Because Joe, it just, like, it looked like it was a battle for Swerve just to get there and get it. So, let's see how they build this out. It's a little bit different this time because MJF is no longer around. So, it's going to be a little different how they, how they do everything. I can't wait to see, man. I can't wait to see how this title run goes for Swerve, man. Give me your thoughts in the comment section, man. Uh, it's gonna be great, man. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. We'll see your dynasty, dynasty, how this goes. By the way, this is a phenomenal pay per view. This pay per view was great. It was better than Revolution to me. Um, this was a great pay per view. Hey, man, Tony did a really good job booking this one. This is why I said, like, when people come at the Tony about his booking and shit, I'm like, dog, man, do y'all watch his pay per views? His pay per views always be lit. You know what I mean? They always come out. They always come out pretty good, man. But this one in particular, this is a good show. This is this is a, actually a good show. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. This is actually a good show, man. I'm going ahead to get this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching this on afternoons. To like, congratulations to Swerve. Doo -doo.